Okay, so in this lesson, we will talk about web research. Now, kahit para sa iba, madali lang ang web research. As a VA, we search and learn every day. Every day, you search for something on Google. Every time, okay? May times na ibibigay sa'yo kasi yung task. And kahit hindi mo alam, uh, you are expected to find your way through it. So, we will talk about web research as a task and as a job. And we'll also... Um, give you tips to make your internet research more efficient. Okay. So web research for virtual assistants is used for a variety of tasks. Okay, so uh, it's just the practice of using internet to look for information. Ganun lang talaga siya. Okay, wala nang ibang, ibang uh, meaning yan. Um, it's used for it's just not exhaustive, uh, knowing your target market, creating content, um, checking out the competition, finding out the essential information that the business should know about, and minsan, for yourself. Okay? Marami pang iba. May iba-ibang type of research and goal at may iba-ibang ways to research and look for them. Okay? But whatever you do, um, research is only good if it's accurate. Hindi mga gamit ang research na kinampile mo with information that is not relevant. So, how do you make sure that it's relevant though? Okay? So, um, more than typing and copying results, it involves understanding what topic, why it's important to the client. Hindi ka lang yung basa lagi lang ng lagay, tas ang haba-haba. Okay? Um, we read and understand. Minsan may topic na hindi tayo familiar, pero pwede ka magtanong sa client or bigyan yung client ng examples. Give yourself a few hours, try to understand it yourself, compile ka ng mga initial na mga information so you can show it to the client and they can tell you, okay, this is not what I'm looking for or this is what I'm looking for or uh, expound on this, search more about this one, this aspect, yung mga ganon. Okay? So it also pays to read the content and try to have uh, an idea kung ano yung ginagawa. Okay, so let me do a really um, quick demonstration. Okay. So when you are um, searching for anything on the internet, I mainly use Google, like 99% of the time I use Google. Um, I find na mas okay yung search engine tsaka nasanay na ako sa Google. Um, so when you're searching for something, use specific keywords. Okay? Let's say ganto. So, making. Maraming lalabas. And if you can see here, there are 14 million results. Okay? So, soap making lang ba? Or maybe you can um, expound. Okay? So, you, you can use specific keywords, whether ding DIY. DIY soap. Soap making for beginners. Maganyan. Yan. So, as you can see, mas kumonte yung, yung results. And it's uh, more relevant sa hinahanap mo. Okay? So, try to use specific keywords. Or if you're looking for soap without lye. This lye is an uh, ingredient na minsan may ibang tao um, allergic sila. Maganyan. Anon. Okay, so ito mas kumonti yung results. Obviously, you're not going to go through all of the results. Pero uh, mas nananarrow down yung search mo. It means mas naiintindihan ng Google kung ano yung hinahanap mo. Okay, um, so use specific keywords. And as you can see kanina, you can also use multiple keywords. So you can gradually uh, increase yung words and be descriptive. Okay, so how to make soap without lye from scratch? Mga ganon. Ganyan. So how to add colors? Um, what is lye? Mga ganyan. How to use glycerin? Okay. So how would you know kung ano yung mga keywords na kailangan hanapin? You get up from the client or you, do, you, you get a more clear idea of what to use after you did your initial research. Okay, kasi you, you tried to understand what it's about. Okay. So another thing that you can use is Google Scholar. Okay, so yeah, Google Scholar, so this is good for 
uh, when you're looking for scholarly information, ito yung maganda pagkula ng research kasi akadam, um, academic siya and mga ganito. Yan. So, um, maganda siya for thesis, for ac uh, academic na information, ganyan because instead of getting information from usual content like blog posts or news, ito talaga, um, some of these are thesis na pinublish from universities. Okay? So, yan. So, if you're looking for information like that. Okay. Um, we will you use this every day? No, not not really. Um, para lang sa mga cases na you're looking for <laughs> academic type or scholarly information. But just in case lang, and you have a client <laughs> na yun ang hinahanap. Okay? So, another thing is, uh, let's say I am looking for this. Oh, so, um, ang daming lumabas, okay? So, may iba-iba, and then, because um, when Google search for uh, different words, they'll look for these words at, at any, ano, any position as long as it has these three words, okay? Which is good kung iba-iba yung words na hinahanap mo, but if you are looking for talagang ito lang, ganyan yung kakasunod, you can use quotation marks. Yan. And mas lalabas yung, mas relevant sa hinahanap mo kasi siya talaga yung lumalabas. Diba? Kesa yung kanina. Okay. And let's say we're looking for information. We're looking, you're looking for a very, medyo broad information or, um, na exhaust mo na yung information about a specific aspect and gusto mo nang i um uh, exclude yung isang bagay so let's say i don't want to look for anything that has anything to do with upwork yan and sorry ganun pala so whatever the term is here space, minus, magkasunod, magkatabi sila noong word. And, pansin nyo, walang lumalabas na upward. Kanina, meron. Okay? So, um, kung ayaw nyo lang lumabas siya, baka na-exhaust nyo na yung ganong klaseng information. Okay? And, let, this is something that you can use. Kunwari, hindi nyo matandaan, or for, for anything, pwede mo siyang ganyan. So, kung meron kang parang aslang pala, kung meron kang hinahanap na specific term and sa kalagitnaan, hindi mo mahanap kung yung specific word doon, uh, you can use an asterisk. But, hindi mo siya masyadong, ako hindi ko ito masyadong ginagamit din. Um, pero yun, pero these are some of the tips that you can use when you're looking for uh, information on the internet. Kasi, uh, you want to be efficient. You don't want to spend time going through uh, information na hindi mo naman magamit or is redundant. Okay. So, I hope that those tips help you because in usually every day ginagamit namin more than typing and copying results web research involves understanding what's the topic why it's important. Okay. So, pa nag-compile ka, you compile it in a way na madaling maintindihan. Okay. Um, just like the first few tips, um, picking the right terms and keywords when researching is very important. You get this from the client, you ask the client questions, uh, what is the goal, what the client is exactly looking for. Again, try to spend a few hours, actually not really hours, maybe an hour max, um, uh, to try to look for it yourself, kung ano yung naintindihan mo, and then present it to the client and get feedback. Uh, that's a great way to do this. So, mas makikita mo kanyang keywords na importante. You can actually ask them ano ba yung mga keywords na gusto mo. Because sometimes, client will give us vague descriptions. It's very important na we squeeze it out of them. Okay. Um, so, more than ano yung tinatype, um, it's important kung anong alam mo 
uh, kung ano yung hinahanap mo, alam mo kung ano yung hinahanap mo at para saan. So, ngayon may results ka na and uh, there could be anywhere from you know, iba-ibang results. Uh, you can go through all of them. Um, ilalag, ilalag, i-compile mo sila in a way na pinaka-relevant. So, you try to read that, you try to summarize, and you write it down. You have to understand yung results nung sinesearch mo. Okay? So, um, why is reading important? Okay? Ngayon, may results ka na, na-check mo na, you have maybe an idea. Um, hindi may iwasan na may mga parehas na idea or content from the results that you're getting um, sa, isang, sa isang search. Okay, so maganda na i-check mo yung results while kino-compile mo and you check for duplicate ideas or images. Basta na doon git na and you feel like it's redundant, you can omit that unless kailangan lang talaga siyang banggitin for the sake of elaboration. Ganyan. Kaya, na, kaya mahalaga, again, naiintindihan mo kung ano yung topic on a certain level. Okay, kasi you have to compile this. Researching, understanding what the research is, and compiling it is not just a job when you're doing web research, especially if you're doing it for the client. You also have to um, uh, compile it in a way na pag nabasa nila, they will understand what, it, what it's about. Okay? Pinapadali nga natin yung buhay nila as virtual assistants. Okay? So, um, habang uh, nagko-compile ka, inilalagay mo na unti-unti, inage-edit ka na. So, here are a few tips when you are compiling or creating a web, uh, um, sorry, when you're creating a document uh, for for the research. Okay, so, sa nilalagay yung research, it really depends. So, you have to ask the client that sometimes email body lang, sometimes can be Microsoft Word or Google Docs or um, anywhere. Okay? So, I have to ask them, but um, use the same font and typeface all throughout the document. Start with the basic information about research because you don't want to give them your advanced information na it's not gonna make sense. Kasi it has to make sense to them. So, gradual mong ipapakita yung information. Give examples and especially for um, lalo pag binagit ng client and, and just for ano, uh, due diligence Okay, try to include links where you got the information from. Okay, and um, again, don't add unfinished ideas. Kasi minsan di mo binabasa, lagay ka lang ng lagay. Nakalito. Okay, and then try to group the same themes and content together. Okay. And you would think that this is very, uh, very basic that everyone should know, but we have seen virtual assistants, even experienced virtual assistants, that would send us research that does not make sense like you will see na they just typed it on the on the internet on google and then on ano the the results they copy pasted that without understanding and uh it made for a very inefficient use of time and efficient use of resources okay so had they asked us had they tried to understand what it's about mas mabalisana yung turn around ng time ng quality Okay, um, yun, so everybody could have been happy, but we weren't, right? So, uh, try to really do this. Very basic, but um, just follow this. Because when you don't follow this, parang, kasi this is expected of you, so if you don't, parang it's already a markdown, right? Unless the client specifically uh, asks uh, you to do certain stuff out, then that's fine. Pero if they're not giving you a guideline in, in anything, then do your uh, due diligence, okay? Because you can never go wrong with these. So, ito. Here are some of the checklists that you have to check. Uh, checklists that you have. Here is a checklist that you have to follow. So, when you are looking at a web research work or task or project, you know, uh, or, or the client asks you to do this, then find out what is the main topic, what's the scope of the topic, like kanina soap making, like ano scope, this is scope soap making, DIY ba, or how does big companies, uh, how do big companies create soaps, mga ganon, magamit ba silang factory, ano yung mga ingredients, yung mga ganyan, okay, 
uh, what is it for? Is it for recipes? Is it for content? Kasi, kasi kung uh, more on reports, then magkakokus ka sa mga numbers, mga marketing. If it's more on content, then magkakokus ka dun sa mga how to do it, step by step um, stuff. Diba? Um, keywords and terms. Okay? Um, and then, get as much description from the client as possible. Um, and ask the client for feedback. And then, ask for the deadline. When do they want it? Right? So, you know kung kailangan mo na siyang madaliin. Okay? And again, try the instructions yourself. If they have one, if they don't have instructions, try to ask for instructions. Okay? Um, and, and see if you find something in clear and so that you can ask and ask um, the right questions. So, when negotiating for web research tasks, um, again, know the scope, find out the topic, um, especially if the topic is very high level. And you know what those topics are, mga special topics, mga medi medicine or medical, uh, yung tipong kailangan mo nakakaibang course or high-end the course to really understand what it's about, engineering, yung mga, yung mga ganun, or it, uh, it's all about um, terms that yung mga andun lang sa industry na yun ang, ang nakakaindindi like yung mga jargons okay you try the instructions and you you you, you find out na okay wait this is higher and you can actually um, charge more for that because it's it's specialized skill so if you have that and you have experience so you bring something unique to the table and that's your experience and that's your know-how about um not necessarily experience, but you know how, or, or your understanding of the topic. Okay, so let's say um, you took up law, and then may research about uh, legal stuff. Okay, and then there's a research naman about general stuff. Then you'll probably, and not just probably, you can charge higher for the legal stuff because you have to be in a certain level to understand and to compile a proper research. Okay, so. How do you get paid for web research? You can be paid by the hour, air, or you can be paid per project. Okay? Uh, same as always, kung hina ask uh, to do it uh, on a project basis, um, ask yourself how many hours you would think it will uh, take you to finish it. And then you try to multiply that with your basically hour, basic hourly rate. So para meron kang uh, benchmark. So you can go higher, you can go lower. Right? Um, so, so that's really all of it for, for web research. Uh, try to do your own web research. Okay? You can look for your own topic, something that you're interested about, and try to compile that. You can, you can try to compile that, and then maybe after a few days, go back and, and with, with fresher eyes, and then you can go back to sa ginompile mo, and uh, you'll see kung, ah, okay, medyo malabo ito dito, medyo ganyan. It's really just practice. So in the next video, uh, we'll talk about uh, lead generation and what it's about, how you, how you do lead generation, your basic tips.